Goomfies. We're here, Oomfies. Hello, everybody. We're here. Uh, all right, timing of the stream. First things first, we're, yeah, we're like, I think we're back to normal. So I've been having trouble falling asleep, waking up at like 5 a.m., 4 a.m. every single day. Um, but yesterday I discovered modern medicine. I took two NyQuil and I passed out. I was groggy. So I woke up around like 10 a.m., 10 a.m. And feeling my normal... I f I'm feeling my normal awfulness. I don't have that kind of perk that, you know, so I think we're back to normal. Risen from the ashes. Hey, thanks for tier one. Sub, thanks for the eight months. Welcome back. Tea time. 14 months tea time. Thank you so much. Uh, have a good sleep and yeehaw, jihaw with the eight months. Thanks for tier one. Smooch for the prophecy. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yes. Yes, we're here. And uh, yeah, I switched the camera a little bit. So I don't know. I don't know how I feel. Yeah, I did put some of the plushies back there. I don't know why it looks so tilted. I, I guess it's just the angle of the camera. But uh, is this weird? Does this feel a little too like intimate? I, I wanted it to be more like you're facing me. And my eye line is like just a little bit closer is that weird it's a different feel do you do you not like it is it weird <laughs> it's cool all right how are we doing today yeah so it's a little early i mean i told you i told you that i wanted to try stream a little earlier and here i am right guys so, here I am. What are we doing today? Meh. I don't know. We're going to chat for a little bit like we always do. Um, I'm going to play this Exit 8 game. It's like a train. In honor of finally... Uh, wait. Uh, in, in honor of finally coming back from Japan... And hold on, I'm confused. Did I get the right thing? Okay, I did. Okay, okay, I did. I was just checking. Uh, in honor of me coming back from my Japan trip, um, and fixing my sleep schedule. Finally, I mean, I got so sick. Finally over it, I think. Ch uh, lips are chapped as always. <laughs> um, oh, you know what? If my guitar strings come in on time today, I might try to restring my guitar with your guys' help, maybe? Maybe you guys can backseat me. Vizodi, thanks for the gifted sub. Vizodi, how you doing? Mm, might come too late. We'll see. <clears throat> Hello, sandwich. Feeling good. Got some. Got some work done. Some brainstorming. Got a little diet coke because, you know, I like to stay hydrated. I'm ready for a little stream. Just a, a just a little cheeky little stream. Uh, it might be. We'll see. This might be the last stream until the lecture on uh, Saturday. And I did want to say that I, I looked into it and I, I'll try to have it stream to Twitch again. Uh, I know we kind of gave up on it because I was lazy. No, it's right there. See? No, no, it's it's on a stand. It's just you can't really see the stand, but it, it's it's on a stand. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I got that. Uh, it's, is it because I shaved? 
finally. Andy, how you doing? <clears throat> Why diet? Can't you tell? Can't you tell? Well, it's because I drink one a day. The thing is, if I, if I drink so much of it that I have to drink the Diet Coke or I would like... You know what's funny? You know how big Dune is? My my mother made a Dune reference. That's how big Dune is. I was, I was uh, playing with my dog. Or not my dog, but my mom's dog. And she's like a little gremlin. And my mom was like, she's like that, uh, her, and she's got like jowls. And, and my mom was just saying like, yeah, she reminds me of the, the guy from Dune. And I was like, what did you just say? It's like, yeah, the guy from Dune, he comes out of the, uh, he comes out of the oil and he floats. And she was talking about the Baron, Baron Harkonnen. And I was like, that's just so funny that Dune is that big that my mom just made a Dune reference. And she thinks of things in the same way. Because I think of Pickles like the guy from Dune too. Pickles big and fat. He just floats around. I mean, I think of myself as the guy from Dune. But that's, that's a different. It's a different thing. How does my mic sound? We switched the setup. I, I My old one was giving me problems. Because you guys know that uh, my audio would just cut out. So. We are all the guy from Dune. Dude, I fucked up. I was too busy trying to do sketch comedy and animations and stuff. I should have just been like... I, I was too... I got too sucked into edgy content and stuff. I should have just done this and been like a... Soft boy streamer playing Minecraft. I'd probably make 10 times more money. What the fuck was I thinking? Did you guys see the new update? Oh yeah, this is great. How are you guys doing today? Did you have a good day today? What if, what if I was like, what if that was like my personality instead of this, instead of like the, I don't know. I don't know. How, how would you describe my, my personality? Did you guys have a good day today? How are we doing? Oh, come on guys. What the, f I, how, I can't win. What do I, what? This is fucked. I, I have no chance. I have... I, I, I lose in the free market. I feel like I'm forever capped because my streaming personality doesn't match my, like, outward appearance. I feel the, the outward appearance that would match my personality that would get me the most success in the streaming sphere is if I was, like, a big, fat, greasy white guy with a thick beard and I was, like, balding and I wore a trucker cap. I feel that's the look that matches my personality most... Dreamy, thanks for five gifted. Dreamy, thank you so much. You're always gifting subs here. I appreciate you, Dreamy. Thanks so much. You like me how I am? Oh, man. Iwashi, thank you. <laughs> mm. That's what my VTuber model is, I bet. Speaking of which, I got to make sure I close out of that. I was looking at it. I got an update. Let me make sure I close out of that tab. I'm not, I don't have that Discord server open okay we're good no crumbs no crumbs I told you no more crumbs I'm, I'm making sure I precariously this took me all day you asked me what I did today I put my plushies back there that's what I did and it was hard it, it was they kept falling over they kept falling over. It was difficult. I had a hard day. I almost cried. It feels a little empty. I might like, you know, there's like a, you can like see through it. I might like put a board. Oh, that's genius. What if I get a cork board and I attach it to the back of it so I can put stuff up? That'd be awesome. It is the gamer desk from Ikea. 
the thing is, it, I, I, I have my main desk here, which is like, you can see this oak table. It's like an L. And then I have one in front of me. That's what the main setup is on. And I didn't want this in the room because it kind of, it's kind of decorative. I mean, I have my keyboards on it, but it's not really useful. But the thing is, it's like, we built it in this room and it doesn't fit through the fucking door. So me and, and Carol went to pick it up and we tried to take it out and it wouldn't fucking, and we tried every angle. And so we would have to take it apart. And it's just like, I was kind of looking at it and I was like, oh my gosh. So like, ah, just, we'll just put it back there and I'll put stuff on it. So it, it is kind of weird and awkward, but it's like, oh, it's whatever. I mean, my keyboard on it. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's fine. Well, my chat's up there. That ain't right. It doesn't feel right. I feel like it should be down here. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what's right and what's... Is that weird? Where is Pickles and where is Boba? They're my main sauce. That's my that's my only content. Guys, hold on. Let's 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 take a step back here. I'm still not how come you're so vehemently against Softboy Lando? Don't I have the can we can we just like Can we just like circle back to this? Cause maybe a shift is needed. I don't know. Who knows? Why a shift? Be because, guys. Why not? <sighs> April Fool's Day is over. Dude, that would have been a gr that that actually would have been a great April Fool stream. I would have I would have done soft boy Lando stream, played Minecraft. <laughs> I mean, my cat's name is Boba. What the hell? I don't deep throat my mic. That's disgusting. Do you know how dirty my mic would be? June, hello, how you doing? What are you doing? I know what you're doing. <laughs> Did you get the content more? Yeah, what? I, I was looking at it, but I was like, maybe I was going to do that today. But is it the kind of game that you need to play with other people? Is it a good experience even if you played by yourself? Seems like a lethal company situation. Need people to play with. Yeah. I'll see if I can't get a group together. That'd be, that might be fun. But uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what we'll do today. I'm not sure how long the stream will be. Open mic hell divers. I didn't even realize hell divers had open mic. But I think, uh, so again, if you don't know, I've been kind of, um, kind of going through it because, uh, I got so sick on my vacation. And at this point, it's, um, at this point, it's one, two, like two weeks, 
no, I've been sick for three weeks. And I feel like I, I'm getting over it. Still kind of have this like fatigue. Um, and uh, as a result, my sleep schedule has been all over the place. No, I'm finally finished with my medicine. Sleep schedule has been all over the place. Um, kind of because of the jet lag as well as uh, being sick. Um, but last night, again, I did take some NyQuil when I shouldn't have. I'm not, I don't, I don't advocate the abuse of drugs, obvi clearly, obviously. Um, but I, I was like, well, my mom was like, why don't you just, why don't you just pop some NyQuil and pass out? And, and so last, actually this morning, it was like 4 a.m. Uh, and I was like, fuck, no, I, I, I had like a really long day the prior where I woke up in the morning super early and I tried to stay up all day and I did it all day. And 10 p.m. last night, I was like, oh my gosh, I did it. It's 10 p.m. If I just pass out now, I, I think I can get back to uh, like fix my sleep schedule. Went to bed, exhausted, right? 4 a.m., boom, just wide awake with all the energy in the world. So I, I made myself some spaghetti. And then uh, around I, I popped two NyQuil. And uh, a couple hours later, man, I was, I passed out. And uh, maybe you're a super sleeper. I am not. I, I, you know, I tell you that much. I am, I'm not. And I, I with, with the spaghetti in my stomach, with spam, I, I'll probably have spam after my stream. I'll probably have some ramen and spam. Maybe throw an egg in there. Ooh, get a little fancy, get a little fancy, you guys know. Um, TK Kane, thanks for the eight months. Uh, thanks for the tier one sub. Appreciate it. And so around 6.30 a.m. ish, I have passed out. And I kind of felt this grogginess, right? This kind of that I haven't felt. Um, and I passed out. And uh, I woke up around 10.30, 11, 10.30. Got on my feet by 11. And so I'm a little tired now. So I think I do still have the, the, the sleep schedule, like the inner rhythm, circadian rhythm is still kind of not all the way back because there's no reason I should kind of feel sleepy right now but I'm just still I'm still kind of trying to reset it so um space up if you like the background it's a little awkward I don't there's like I don't like how the space is here and you can see my bed and and there's like nothing here it's it's kind of weird but uh we're just gonna have to go with this for now Um, you, you just had the itis from eating spaghetti. No, no, no. I know that's not it because for the past two weeks, I've been eating. Every time I woke up in the middle of the night, I would eat. And uh, it, it wouldn't it wouldn't help. So tonight, one more night just to make sure because I need to like get out of the habit of waking up. Night quill. Um, num, 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 num. Uh, some people recommended um, the devil's lettuce, either in uh, in in its myriad of different forms. I used to do that, and it works, but uh, it it hurts my stomach. It makes my stomach hurt. I get like sharp pain. Arctic Wolf, one week on an eight second animation, dude. I I feel you. I've been um blocking out an animation that I'm gonna start working on. Um, here soon uh, I feel you I feel your pain everything hurts his dude I, I I don't know it's just uh, hey us soft boys we just have an upset stomach you know our little tummy wummy hurts right that's just that's just uh -huh. that's just what being a soft boy is you know we're sensitive guys stomach hurts sometimes little tummy wummy hurt come on guys Give me something. I can't survive out here like this. Something needs to change. Oh, Dreamy, come on. Man, shut the fuck. Uh, oh. Okay. Imagine Brandon soft boy. Okay, uh, let's circle back here. Let's say, like, legitimately, someone asked you, 
like who is your who is your favorite streamer you say professor Orlando, and they say what is his personality like how do you answer and don't say some stupid shit like oh he's like a gremlin because they're gonna like let's like let's imagine you're actually talking to some you know that he's gonna be like like your aunt right or your mom because you'd be like she'd be like what like you wouldn't use like weird meme lingo like legitimately how would you just annoying oh my come on be real here you wouldn't say that because your mom would be like why would you why do you watch him i wouldn't even admit it oh moly I'd be gatekeeping. I don't know. <laughs> Your mom can't watch the Professor Lando streams. <laughs> funny, man. I hate being the funny guy. I feel like, I mean, I appreciate it. I, and that that's what I've, my entire run on the internet has been. But, but man, that's fucking... It's good and it's good and bad. You guys would say he's like my, he's a soft boy. Funny and a little scary. What? Nobody said handsome. This is some My dad likes it. Nobody said handsome. Come on. I said very hot and sexy. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's not a personality trait. I don't know. <laughs> Needy. Oh, don't do me like that. Oh, how are you going to do me like that? I'm pretty needy. I need attention. Except when I don't want it. And I and then it then it makes me really moody. Yo, who else is like that in the chat? Come on. Come on. That's what I'm talking about, guys. We like to flip it up on the people around us. Cause emotional distress. Super needy, except when we decide we don't want it anymore. Then Let's go, guys. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Keep them on their toes. Do we need attention or not? Either way, it's mentally taxing on them. Everyone needs one of them in the group. <laughs> What's a handsome young lad? See, guys? That's what I'm saying. Oh, guys, don't be saying that. Are you kidding? Carol? Carol is fine. Also, never mind. Yeah, you guys are right. She's a queen. <laughs> we went on a walk today. Absorbing that sunlight. Here in Las Vegas, though, it is get it is getting hot. It's getting hot, real hot outside. I um, uh, not looking forward to it. Um, yeah, yeah. I was really shocked how hot it, it was. Um, but we've been pretty lucky in, in the hot areas, at least here in the West Coast. I think um, it's been um. Uh, it's been pretty cool weather-wise. 
However, I mean, it's family time. Which sucks because me and, me and Blakester, the Blakester, we go out and play tennis um, usually during the day. But now we're going to have to either go like super early in the morning or like at night. And both of those kind of sound like they suck. But realistically, probably morning would be good. You want to level up? Uh, sadly, no. Yeah, maybe. When is that? Probably not. Yeah, it's been it's been kind of oddly cold this year here in uh, Las Vegas. Um, but re but speaking hey speaking of conventions, I am going to Anime Expo. I'm doing ha uh, an official meet and greet um, on uh, day two, which is Friday, uh, which will last for like the entirety of um, uh, the convention hours that day. I don't know what what is that like ten to ten to five or so, ten to six, nine to six. I'm not sure exactly, but um, yeah, it will be Anime Expo. So if anyone's going, um, look forward to it. You don't have to buy a ticket for the meet and greet or anything like that. It's just going to be like a lineup. Um, I'll let you know the details when uh, we're ready to announce it. But uh, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, I'll see you there. Don't do me dirty. Don't prank me. I'll cry. Uh, I will have security. His name is Blake. He'll tackle you. Blake will be there too. Oh, yeah, yeah, Have we said that? Blake will be there too. So we'll both be there for the meet and greet. Um, yeah, and we'll just be around Anime Expo too. This is, is going to be Blake's first time at Anime Expo. Scary, right? This I, I actually don't know if I like... Should I put the camera back? Because... The thing is, when the camera's here, I know very for sure. Like, I'm either I'm either looking at the screen or I'm looking at the camera. But because the camera lens is like right next to the screen, I can. I, I, it's kind of like I'm kind of like I'm getting. Oh, I'm getting dazed and confused. I because I can kind of look at both at the same time. It's tripping me out. Blake has been to. Uh, no, like two, three conventions. Um, and they've all been small. Uh, Off Kai Expo, he went to, uh, which was a very, I mean, at Off Kai Expo, amazing convention. It was a great convention. Um, one of the best I've ever gone to, actually. Like the, the, the environment, the atmosphere of it. But it's a, it's, he, like, it kind of spoiled him. Because that was his first convention experience. And it's like, how do you get better than that? So he's kind of like, that's kind of his standard. Because, you know, we, we're going to cons. We go to a small local con. We kind of build ourselves up. We go to big ones again. Like, like us con goers, you go to big expos. You go to like mid-size one. But, but, but Blake's kind of like nothing to him. And, and it, it's, it's especially special because the venue is in the same place as the hotel. It's kind of like a Katsukon situation, which makes it especially, like, nice. Um, so he's kind of spoiled, because he's kind of comparing everything to that. Uh, he liked Anime Impulse, but we were, we were pretty much working the entire time, uh, every single day. So he didn't really, like, he didn't really go to the con, if you if you get what I'm saying. But Anime Expo, uh, we one day we'll be working, but uh, we'll kind of have two days to kind of just float around. Um, so he'll, he'll check it out and he's, it's going to be crazy. I'm not, I'm not sure if you'll like it or not. And I'm scared we're going to get sick because Blake and I, we always get sick. Ah, ah, I got to wear, I'm, I'm wearing a mask the whole time. I have to, I just can't get sick again. Blake and I, we both got sick. It's awful. Well, for me, my mom said it's because I'm weak and I, I, it's a mental thing. That's what my mom says. She says that I, I stress myself out and I weaken myself. Like I gain, I manifest myself. I gain myself into getting sick because of the stress. And that sucks because I can't help it. I can't be like, don't think about it. Like, I, of course I'm going to stress like travel and all that. Like, what, what, what am I going to do? Okay, I've not smoking floor. I the the convention 
that I smoked the floor vape, I didn't get sick. So maybe floor vape is the answer. I'm too stressed out, but I don't know how not to be stressed. I've been stressed since I was like 12 years old, I think. I don't think I've been not stressed since the end of middle school. Like when high school started, I've been stressed constantly. I don't I do I legitimately don't think there's been one single hour since I entered high school that I have not been stressed. That's just my my state of being. I'm stressed right now. I'm stressed out thinking about my stress. Talking about my stress, I'm stressing. <laughs> Just calm down. I need to. I need to try. <clears throat> yeah, workaholic life. I need to work harder. I need to work harder. I need to work more. Um, I've been thinking about starting a new YouTube channel. I've always, always, always wanted to do a channel that uh, is not personality based because at this point, based on what you guys just told me about my personality, clearly is not the answer. Soft boy channel. No, no. So actually I've always, I love like um, morbid uh, YouTube videos. You know, like this is the murder of 1673 or the appearance of the Jakulu Mothman. Like, or the, the SCP explained video. Yeah, like I love Nexpo. I, I love like all, uh, channels like that. Not really video ex essays. I'd really, I'd describe them more as like explained videos. Um, and I've always wanted to do a channel where I did that and paired it with my art. Because that's what I always feel like these channels are missing is the visuals. Um, it's, and I draw quickly. So I always, I always thought it'd be fun to do that. I've always wanted to, but I'm just too good at fucking YouTube and every other stupid, like random comedy channel I do pops off. So I'm like, ugh, guess I gotta do this. Fuck. But I, I've, I've always wanted to. It's just, it's just time. But the thing is, I know, the thing is, I know I can work harder. I stream for fucking three to four hours. So, okay, let's break it down. Math wise, 24 hours minus eight hours for sleep. Uh, lunch, dinner, okay, two hours each. So, or let's do one and a half. So three total hours period to eat. Work out, uh, one hour. Um, I stream for three to four hours. Let's just be... How, how much on average do you think I stream? Four? Three? Let's just say three. Okay. Um, well, I, I wake up and I get ready, shower, eat coffee. So let's say that's an hour. Uh, did I do workout already? Well, workout, you always prep and then you got to like cool down. You take a shower. So let's do an extra hour. So two hours for working out. And you know what? Let's just be, let's be, let's give it another hour, three, because you know, I, I kind of get ready, warm up, or I have like a pre-workout thing. And then I cool down and take a shower. Um, and then let's say I have to spend two hours of just personal time interacting with Carol or Blake or my friends, my family. Oh, wait. That doesn't actually leave me much hours left in the day. I only have four extra hours left. And I feel like I do four hours of work outside of everything I just described. Shit, I don't have any time. Well, I don't stream every day and I don't work out every day. Uh, damn. Hamaneo, thanks for the prime sub. All right, see you, Andy. Thanks for popping in and saying hi. 
Right, laundry, grocery shopping, errands. Oh, shit. Wait. Seven hours of sleep. It's, it's possible. Okay, what... What is minimum sleep required? Male. Seven. We can do seven, so we get five extra hours. Wait, what the fuck? That can't be right. How There's no way I have five hours of extra time. I feel I get more done right now. So out of five hours, how much time do I spend prepping Professor Lando, Lando stuff a day? Two? It, it doesn't... Professor Lando does not require me to spend that much time. Oh, guys, seven hours. Seven hours is solid, guys. Guys, seven hours of sleep, solid. Two hours of Professor Lando. Because, like... It, it doesn't require that much. It's just, I just need to sit there and think of like a script idea or something. Three hours of extra time. Time seven. 21 hours left over for some additional thing. Okay. Pretty solid. There's room for like one thing. It's either I spend, I have 20 and let's just, let's just subtract two hours. Just because and and let's just throw it out there for like random like all right well actually yeah let's take away three let's take away f so five total hours of just reserve time that gets put in where i need it 16 hours a week extra there's there's room in there for something extra so it's either like but i will say Wait, what the fuck? How do I cut down on time? Uber Eats. Uber Eats. I have to Uber Eats. I have to cut down time spent on food. It's the only realistic place. What is your time worth, guys? Because, like, for your, for your business... Meal prep? Oh. Okay, well, here's the thing. I don't stream every day. So what did I say? Three hours of streams? I only stream, like, what? Four days out of the seven? So, four times... Uh, so, the, I, I calculated seven days in there. But let's take away three. Three times... Three times three is, what? 20... Uh, or, no. Uh, three times three is nine. Add nine, 25 hours of extra time. I have room for it's. I, I need to do an extra thing. No, I'm not. I'm, this isn't a bit. I literally think I don't work hard enough. I've been watching these podcasts and talking to people around me. And I can't really afford to. I mean, streaming as a career. It's really like a sink or swim kind of kind of industry. And I really need to. While I have the energy, I'm still young. Here's the thing. I'm still young. Okay, guys. I have, you know, when I'm older, yeah, I'll have to slow down. But this is it. I have like a little bit in the tank left because, you know, look at me. I've still got my soft boy youthfulness. Now's the time to work hard. And it's like, yeah, you know, you may burn out, whatever. But it's like there is a period where you kind of like, you do kind of have to burn bright there for a little bit. Um, and this is only until my VTubing comes, because when my VTubing comes, the, the, the hour separation is going to be much different because I will be streaming more. Definitely. That, that's, that's one thing for sure. And it will be burning every day, almost, uh, every day. Sorry, not burning. I was reading, a uh, B's comment there. Burning the candle at both ends is bad. Content, here, here, content creation, unfortunately, is just... It, there are careers that require you to burn the candle at both ends, and streaming is one of them. It's very sink or swim. 
Uh, I'll tell you, we all feel like our careers are... Because all it takes is for a viewer to be like, yeah, I'm not going to watch this guy. I'm going to watch a different stream. Or I need to do something else. Uh, everyone I talk to feels like if they take more than like two weeks off, they lose, like they can't uh, recoup the losses. Um, same with YouTube. You know, very, it, it feels like, uh, and, and so to combat that, it's kind of like, you kind of burn the candle. It's, it's you, you kind of feel like you have to do more than the other person does. Uh, you know, in order to maintain any sort of livelihood as a content creator, it's kind of. But the thing is, it's a trade-off. But because of that, I, you know, you get to be your own boss. Uh, there's while there's high stress in certain areas of it, there's much lower stress compared to a normal nine to five, right? So I feel like maybe it meets in the middle and balances out a little bit. Really. Do I really? I thought I would have much more extra time because I feel like I don't do anything during the day. I'm shocked. Once you write it all out. Well, the reason I, I'm so numbers oriented right now with like writing it out because I just did my taxes. And so I had like an Excel and I'm kind of putting it in. And when you when you visualize it, like the numbers don't lie. So when you visualize it, it's kind of like, oh, shit, did I really spend that much on fucking like target <laughs> and I don't I don't I don't need to work out every single day right so I get there's some more hours because what I what I just calculated right there was working out seven days a week but realistically no one Unless you're a professional bodybuilder and taking steroids, no one should be working out seven days a week. Five. Maybe six if you're super hardcore, but like not exactly professional. But but for a normal person, probably four. Probably four days a week is, is solid. It's, if you're getting like a solid workout, four days a week is probably fine. Combined streaming working out. You just want to see me sweat, don't you? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta write, make music. I, I was just thinking about that too. I was like, there, well, there was this tweet that was like, uh, Willow Smith's daughter um, is like pretty, really good at music. I, I don't know wh what's her name. Is it Willow Smith? I don't know. But the tweet was kind of like, oh my God, Willow Smith is uh, a prodigy, music prodigy. She's so good. She's a prodigy. And then the someone, you know, uh, quote tweeted that, replied to it saying, she's not a fucking prodigy. She gets to spend every single day without needing to do a nine to five, have no obligations. You know, clearly Will Smith, super famous, have lots of money, um, connections in industry. She, all she has to do is perfect her craft. Uh, which we talked about, like being a Michael, a Renaissance like sugar baby. Remember, I was saying I wish I was like a Renaissance artist twink, where I could just work on my art and just be like a little soft boy artist for like some rich guy. And I was, I watched that, and I was like, yeah, you're right. She, yeah, she just has the time, and I was like, man, I, I, I I've been kind of um, plateauing with my music because I'm not working on it. Uh, I, I was just thinking today I wanted to work on something, but guess what? I I ran out of time because like 4 p.m. was coming. And I knew I wanted to stream at 4 p.m. So I didn't get to I didn't get to do it. Um, so it, it's hard and uh, it's especially hard because when it when it comes down to it and I, I, I get why so many people do it, because when it comes down to like wanting to make money and getting ahead in your career, uh, I, I think about where can I cut off time and like one one very easy place to do it is to say like oh is to cut it off with like relationships and be like Carol sorry um, I can't spend time with you every single day I need to work 
that's so easy to do and i that's why so many people do it and that's why you see like these relationships always like struggle um but you know you can't do it i have to make an effort to be like no i can't do that i can't say like because that's such that's such an easy way to like because it's so easy to do that right um and that's why so many people do it uh they, they sacrifice their personal relationships um and i think that it's it, you know it's dangerous it's dangerous But even even if so, it, it does kind of suck to be like, I have to commit. It, it does it just it does suck because you're kind of like still saying, oh, I'm going to uh, devote a certain amount of time, which it, it it that that also isn't. It also doesn't feel nice, right? Timetable, yeah, a schedule, a sh schedule. It's hard to figure out where to make the most. Um, that's why all these people that you see, they go on these podcasts, or you see online or on Twitter, they cheat, right? They cheat. They're nepo babies, or they get some kind of big windfall, or it's it's hard. It's hard to do it organically because uh, it's almost you could say maybe impossible, right? Because there's always like how, how, how do you do it? And when I say it, referring to like success in in generally speaking, it's like well. Maybe it's not possible and you just don't know the truth, which is people just cheat, right? But I mean, there's no real use to thinking that way. Cause it's like, ah, well, well then what are you going to do? Just like not do anything because it's rigged from the start. Cause that's not a good mentality. Cause, uh, like just because that makes that makes it so you stop before you even begin, right? That's that's not fruitful. We need the, we need a the tr the Stardew Valley tread wife. I wish I could make pickles work. Then that would be pickles and boba. But I'd probably and they'd probably mess up and I'd probably end up getting sued by something happening in their work environment. Where are they right now? Doing nothing. You know what? Boba can get a job in bomb defusal. Send her in. Uh, send her in the Boba. And it's like, uh, just like a clear, decrepit, blown up, like street. Waddles over, just. No, I love Boba, guys. She's just a menace. That's all. She's just a menace. All righty. This convention, I, a lot of my mutuals went to this convention called WeebCon. It looked fun. Wish I could have gone, but in between my Japan trip and Anime Expo this year, can't do too many events. 
because Anime Expo is in what? Three months! Pretty much three months! Holy guacamole! She takes after you? What the? Three months? Yeah. Probably could not swing a, an event in between. Time flies, I know. July 4th weekend, yep. Mm -hmm. uh, but going back, yeah, it's tough. It's going to be tough with music. I just have to, I just have to stop complaining and do it. And sit down and, um, Try to get the hours in. I wish in Maple Story, and I think in MMOs, there's a lot of this. You can get like two times EXP tickets. So you get double. I wish I could do that. I wish I could pay and like dou double my experience. So when I practice music, it's like I'm doing it for twice as long. Isn't that crazy? If only. If only. Yeah, tea time. It, you know. I mean, this is the bread and butter. This is the this is where the sauce is made. So, um, don't feel bad. You're not missing out on much. The thing is, it sucks because like, I wish it, it always comes down to time, right, guys? Because I can't even like. We only get a couple minutes to talk to each other before we have to move on to the next person. It, it really sucks when we do like a meet and greet. New perspective. Yes. What do we think? I can't tell. I can't tell if this is making my face look fat or if it's a flattering angle. Who knows? Also, you see, I put a new, new Astolfo charm right here. The one, the only. This, oh, dude, I, that's what I was saying. The slant, I, I can't figure out. It's because the, the camera is not, like, straight on. So, it's not slanted, but... Maybe I can... Is that a little better? Is that a little better? You reckon? That's worse? No, you're trolling. How is it worse? Don't troll me, I'll believe you. I ordered more, I, I lost my last G2 pen. G2 Pilot. I'm using a Muji. I heard these, this brand Muji is really good. And it's okay, but it's not it's not anywhere near as good as a G2 Pilot pen. I think the Muji is overhyped. Yeah. The Muji is... Muji is not... Dude. I'm not a fan of the Muji. I think G2 Pilot absolutely destroys. It's just like, oh, it's Japanese station. Japanese stationery is like so peak. I like the form of it. I like the simplicity. I like the way it, I, I like the way it looks. And it feels good. But it's for me, it's way too wispy. I don't like how wispy it is. It almost sometimes it almost feels like it's not going to like it's it's running dry because of how thin it is. I don't like how wispy it is. Serve! Serve, thanks, thanks for the gifted. Appreciate that, sir. Don't huh me.
discontinued the good Muji? Was there a different one? Ever try Sarasa? No, I don't, I don't even know what that is. I feel like the ink doesn't come out of the Mujis. Okay, you know what? Let's let's see. What is what? I mean, I'm not gonna order pens because I just ordered a five pack of G2 Pilot. It'll last me until 2033, so I'm not buying more pens. I mean, they're so cheap. But no, 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 no. No, I'm not even gonna look. I can't. I just bought a five pack. That should last me for. 15 years. But yeah, maybe I I do wish maybe I should have gotten a thicker Muji. But I need to not make I need to cut back on frivolous purchases. There's no reason I should have that many pens. So no Uber Eats. No, but you get a return, guys. You say you get time. No, I should meal prep. Point three eight. This is point three eight, which I say I hate it. It sucks. That's their smallest one. Should have gone with 0.5. Nah. Well, my G2 pilots are gonna come. Let's see. Looking cute? Thanks. Some days, <laughs> some days are better than others. Oh, it's almost here. Oh, I get to show it off. Wait, I, I think I'll be able to restring my guitar. Maybe you guys can coach me through it. I'm, I'm kind of scared. No, no. Maybe I should do that off stream just watching a YouTube video. You look cute most days? That's what I'm talking about. I do not know how to restring a guitar. Kirby, how do I do this? <laughs> so, sorry, we, we did the don't starve for like one stream and that's it. So I'm sorry we cut that so short. Maybe I shouldn't commit to so many, like, community playing things. But it was fun. I'm really sad Riot um, pushed back the MMO. I've been really waiting for a good MMO to come out. I've been so desperate, I almost re-upped my subscription to Final Fantasy. Nay. Nay. Absolutely not. There's always Overwatch 2. I'm not gonna have enough people to play a lobby with. You need eight people, right? Isn't it four? Or is it five or four? Five? Ten people? There's only eight people playing right now. There's not even enough for a lobby. Uh, Dawn Trail? What is that? Never heard of that. How far did I get in Final Fantasy? Uh, it was a little bit after. So I'm just I'm doing like little fucking bullshit, where I'm just skipping the cutscenes because it's so boring. It's just like, can you deliver these three eggs? Can you deliver deliver this bushel of things? Can you kill five of the? And then I get to a cutscene where it's suddenly a big war in the sky and they kill a dragon and there's a bunch of people in armor. And I'm, I'm, I went to like, it's kind of, it's like a sandy, kind of reminds me of Egypt. 
um, like a kind of area. And around there, that's where I stopped. I need more accessories on my mic. Are you kidding me? It's going to be so distracting. I feel this is already like a lot. Stormblood? It may be. So I guess maybe the beginning. Hold on. My Muji pens are here. This right here, this is the best pen. This is my favorite pen. It's been since for over a decade. The G2 Pilot. Wait, is this Pilot? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I've been so, I got so, I've gone so long without it. good it's so it's so inky it's so inky oh it's good to have my pen back muji not a fan g2 and it's just it's it's ah oh. ah finally i can get some work done i also got my guitar strings which I, there's like different types of strings. I just got the one that Amazon recommended to me. Just the most reviews. No, no. One. One millimeter. One. I like them thick. So I don't know what the difference between strings. They probably have different sound qualities to them. Not really sure. Wait. I'm not going to make you watch me do this. This is probably going to take me a while. I'll do this later. I got the strings. Why don't you start practicing again? Because I, uh, well, I didn't break my string. Boba knocked over my guitar and it was in the stand, but it hit and it, 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 it like landed on something and the string like got cut. So, big differences in tone that I'm, yeah, that's the thing. I'll probably never, I'll never like notice the difference. Thick, one millimeter, yes. I'm I'm still I can't get over uh I can't get over how um little time I have in the day. I uh I, I really thought I'd have more time left over. Mm. 
chose how to change the strings. No, 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 no. I don't, I, I have to learn. So that's going to be a painful experience. Do I need a tool? Does anyone know? Anyone here know how to restring guitar or have done it at least? Can I just use my hands? Will I be able to do it without? Oh, shit. Yes. Okay, good. That's all I need to know. That's all I need to know. All right, let's play this game. We're playing Exit 8. Uh, I forget who, but someone like... Someone recommended we play this. Running s install script. All right, here we go. Oh shit, are we in? It just boots up just like that. Okay, is, is this a game? Is it scary? No. Is this that scary? This isn't scary, right? You wouldn't do me like this. What is this? Exit. Dude, it's just like Japan. The, the ground. What I liked about Japan is when you're in the subway and stuff, it's so very clearly like marked on the ground, like where to go, the, the different lines you take, exit. Wait, what the fuck's going on? Oh. We're looping? Hmm? What the hell? Tea time? My goodness, 25 gifted tea time? Wow, thank you. That's so generous of you, tea time. My goodness. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Thank you so much, tea time. That's crazy. Thank you so much, tea time. That's so sweet of you. Okay, I, it, I, it, there, there's a puzzle for me to solve, right? With a smile. I can't read Japanese. Was this here before? Don't overlook any anomalies. If you find anomalies, turn back immediately. If you don't find anomalies, do not turn back. Go out from exit eight. Uh... Anomalies.
Wait, is this guy's- was this guy's face always like this, guys? Is, was this guy's face like that? That's kind of I, I I don't like that. I'm I'm going back. That's kind of scary. I I don't remember that being like that. Oh. Exit one. And then this guy is like. Uh, me thinks that something is, uh, something might be <laughs> two. Okay. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, that, that ain't looking, that ain't right. That is definitely not right. Oh, three, three, three. Was that security camera there? Am I- am I- am I overcooking? Am I overcooking? Was that security camera right there? Am I- am I overcooking? Oh, that's... I'm gonna go with my instinct. I don't think that camera was there. Four. Wait. That camera. Wait, what the fuck is this? There's a dude. Huh? No. I mean, I don't... Wait, so he's just gonna be chasing me forever then? Wait, th there is a camera right there. Oh, okay. Signs are the... are the same. I see. That- this is fun. So there is a cam- Oh! Oh yeah, that- that- that ain't- that ain't right. Looks normal to me. Three. He looks normal. Okay, I think we're good. What? How? What? Wait, what? 
What, what, what was different there? That's messed up. What, what? What was different? Do I have to really read the signs? Guys, what was different there? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's, uh, that ain't right. That ain't right. Seems normal. Is he normal? He looks normal to me. Ah, uh, yep. I don't know if they're gonna chase me now, so I might have to go quickly. Guys, you said it wasn't scary. This is scary. It's really scary. Nothing seems to... Nothing seemed different. Okay, seven. Is it just me or did the sound play way too quickly? There's a little sound that plays and I feel like it... Oh! Oh, never mind. That's very clearly different. Different bud? Am I free? Oh! We escaped! That's what it was actually like, by the way, in Japan. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Quicker than you thought. <laughs> that was kind of. That was actually kind of scary, though. I, I don't think. That was fun. That was actually scary, though. I didn't like that. There are 20 anomalies that- Oh! 
I mean, is there any use playing more? I mean, that was my run. That was my run. That was, that was a fun little game. How much is that? $4 for this game. It was a good game. Don't get me wrong. But man, such a simple little game. Made in like... What I imagine is like... Unreal Engine looks like. Gaming is so cool. Games in general. It's just crazy what people are making out there. That scared me though. That uh, that, that scared me. My mouth is like... I have like cotton mouth right now. I feel that could be a f way longer game with like more to it. I want to be a gamer someday. No, you don't. It's not as good as everyone makes it out to be. Coming from your resident gamer. The scariest ones were the posters. Like, whenever there's like a thing or like the water coming, the big like jump scares, that is, that's not as scary as something more nuanced where you like stumble upon it. Where I'm just checking things out and I don't notice it at first and then it's like, oh wait, that poster different. It's different. That that's that's really scary. I've never played any of the Chila art horror games. Music's probably a little loud. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I I feel like we Okay, I feel like we have this conversation often, but let's have it again. MMORPG. What are people playing? What are you guys? People in the chat. You guys, my viewers, what are you playing? Tell me. Reveal it to me. That tired out our baby gamer. Went back to Mabinagi. Oh my goodness. What is P3R? What is that? Definitely fine. What is it? Oh man. Maybe. Ah, maybe. Oh, man. I don't know. What is it about Final Fantasy that makes it for you guys that play Final Fantasy? I didn't understand what really... The thing is, is it the raiding? Like, what? what, what is it about it? Is, is the raids really fun to you guys? Or the story? Keiko. Keiko, Keiko. The ERP? Well... Well, it's definitely not in the first part of the game where you're delivering chickens. That part was painful. Killing three, like, scorpions or whatever. Old school social vibe to it. That's nice. That's actually the biggest... Uh, that's more appealing. That's the thing. It's weird. MMOs... It's not even the game that truly makes an MMO it's 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 like the the energy from it the social aspect the actual gameplay like all MMOs are essentially the same but it's it's kind of like this quality to it that you can't really replicate you can't even really describe also Terra Online on if Terra Online that's what I would be playing but Terra Online is not even playable anymore. RIP.
R.I.P. <sighs> right now... Maybe Final Fantasy. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, you guys. What's the newest thing in Final Fantasy? Guys, we just went over my time schedule. I don't have the time. I would literally have to make a significant sacrifice in my life to, to take it on. What do you guys... So, like, the people here that play Final Fantasy, what do you do? Like, tell me your day. Like, let's... La the last time you played, what what do you... What did you do? Like, you log on and do what? Log on to be a Henny Ho? Dude... Take me back. I'd love to be a little Henny Ho. Yeah, speaking of Maple Story. Plus right there. I made some materia and added it to my gear. Alright. Check on the island. Okay. Well, every time I get like an itch to play an MMO, what I'll do is I'll go on Twitch and see like what people are playing. Watch, I'm li I booted up a stream right now. There's like a guy, and what is this? Player team, enemy team? Oh, is he PVPing? Oh, I can't even tell. PVP and MMOs have always been so like, I've never understood. It's always so hard to see. Everyone moves so quick. I have boomer eyes, I guess. I mean, you guys saw my how bad my vision is. Maybe I'm not cut out for it. Blade and Soul PvP was really fun, though. I'm not cut out for this. Jesus. What's even happening? The dent making its way to your frontal lobe. Why you gotta dupe me like this? See, the, the worst part of me might just... Oh, no. Wow. Give me a stream of someone RPing. Okay, let's say I have no interest in raids. Then... Then riddle me this, Batman. If I don't have, if I have no interest in raids, is Final Fantasy still worth being interested in? That's the question. Still worth? I'm surprised I haven't gotten sucked into it. Me and Carol's two of our friends. That go way back. They're like super into it. And I'm, I'm surprised they haven't managed to suck us into it. It's probably because there's nothing for us to really do together. You can't really play together. At least them. Did the free male Hrothgars come out yet? Can you get married? Oh, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Summer female Hrothgars. This is my MMORPG. It's it's a farming simulator 
and it's it's an MMO and it's called and it's like a singular map like think about like it's like imagine Stardew Valley but it's one map and it's just it, it kind of works like Slither IO where your little dude gets bigger and you want to consume other little snakes but with farms you you try to grow your farm and you you consume the farms next to each other and the goal is just to have the most plots on this giant uh giant cultivated earth and it's called giga farms mmorpg <laughs> there's probably a game like exactly like how what i just described to be honest. Giggle Farms? What? <laughs> oh, yeah, Fox Anon. I... I I probably, it's probably for the best I don't get into an MMO. I don't have the time. Unfortunately. My gaming just needs to be... I mean, if I'm being honest, I could probably... It's probably just the games that I can stream. That's probably the only time I could justify to put into gaming with everything that I want to do. I will say I wanted to check out this game called speaking of like spooky stories and stuff like I've always liked watching SCP explain videos that kind of I feel like that's those kinds of videos are what, what got me into like morbid kind of YouTube videos like that and there's this game called control that's kind of like that I've always I've always wanted to play has, has anyone played it? Control. It's it's on. It's seventy five percent off right now. It's usually forty bucks. It's ten dollars. Ten doll hairs right now. No way. Don't do me like this. I've I never heard about this game. I've never heard of this game before. And then it won every single award at the game awards. And I was kind of like a little sus. I was like, what? How is this game I've never even heard of or seen a single thing of? But everyone told me it's kind of like SCP. And I was like, oh, that's, that's kind of cool. $10? My brother's been really into Rainbow Six Siege lately. Do I do it? Do I do it? Do I do it? Do I do it? I'm just I'm just looking at stuff about this right now. I am getting it. I I'm, I'm getting it Morty. It's 75% off.
You think I could download it in time to play it on this stream? How? 40 oh! oh! We are not playing that this stream. I would have loved to. 43 gigabytes. Everything is... When's the last... That's a... That's a chungus. Okay, we're not playing that today. But maybe next time. If you're actually going to play it, then get it. Just don't... Don't let it collect dust in here. That... That might have been... I might have just bought a game that I'll never play ever. Guys. That might have just happened. I got tricked. Oh, you tricked me. No, I'm just kidding. I've I've always wanted to to play it. Oh, it came with DLC. That's a pretty good deal. Ten dollars. Well, I, I don't know anything about the DLC, but if it's paid DLC. Am I shrimping? I'm always shrimping. I'm the shrimp god. Oh, Wendy's meal? Not these days. $10? That ain't gonna get you anything at Wendy's. With tax? And paying the Uber Eats delivery fee? I can't... That's not getting you anything. Not your average joy. What's going on? Ten dollars with a coupon. Who? What? Where do you get? Where are you guys getting coupons anymore? Guys, I'm gonna try downloading it in time for for the stream. Let's just see how long it'll take. Maybe it'll, it will. Uh, maybe it will finish. Hold on, it's calculating. Maybe I can do it while streaming. Oh, this is going back. This is going back pretty quick, actually. I thought that was a, the, the Sonic IHOP. I thought that was a, an April Fool's joke. Wait, guys, I think I'll be able to play this on stream right now. Wait, was the IHOP Sonic thing real? Why would they, why would they release that on April Fools? Or are you guys trolling me? And I'm going to go to IHOP after the Sonic meal and they're going to be like, are you, are you a fucking idiot? Oh, you're trolling me. It's not real. I'm not going to go to I I'm not going to go to IHOP and ask for the Sonic menu. Yeah, yeah, nice try. You almost got me is the funny thing. You almost got me with that. I'm not going to be a fool. I saw this tweet. It was really funny. It was on April Fools. Let's see. April Fool's Day is meaningless to me because people act like freaks and lie to me all the time. So it's just another normal day for me, really. <laughs> Did you see they're going to add Korra to uh, Fortnite? I have to get that skin. Wait, is it out? Oh shit, what am I doing playing Control? I need to get Korra. Wait, is she, wh wait, what do you mean unlock her? Is she one of those? Oh, come on. You guys are what? What do you what do you do to get Korra? You need the <laughs> No. 
No. I can't. No. No, I can't. I don't even play that game. The hackers are... Fucking June. Um, the hackers are like 50% sure Mika will be in the next pack. You're... What are you... Why are you... Uh, what... How are you guys so into Fortnite recently? You're like in the Fortnite sauce? All of you guys now? What happened? When did you guys get so into Fortnite? Oh, I just spent $10 against control. I should have spent the $10 on the Fortnite Battle Pass instead. I'll send, I'll send you the documents. Oh God, where did I put my... It's done, boys. Control. Do I play it with a controller? Control? With a controller? It makes sense, right? No, Blake has a Fortnite creator code. Just use his. No, but I've actually always wanted to play Control, so... You guys are just my... I'm just using you. You guys are just my excuse to play all these games that I've always wanted to play. You're not gonna lie, I'm kind of cracked at Fortnite, though. Maybe I should get back into the sauce. All right, here we go. Control. All I know is that it's kind of like SCP. It's like kind of loosely Good based. Morning. Not based on SCP, but it's like this reminiscent of this that kind of thing. Than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like we live in a room and there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a. And the poster. Allegory of a cave situation. That's what she's Picture describing. Something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie. What is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell and the picture, it's different. For each of us, it can Washi, be. Washi, this is a game called Control. We're terrible, but we're all. It's. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> but it's a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We are lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. Is it really quiet? I feel like it's really. What do you guys think? Real world. Volume wise. We all feel safe in that room, but sometimes 
Sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Edgy. Hello? Anyone here? Should I play with the controller? Nah, fuck it. Too lazy. Collectibles. I feel like I'm the worst streamer to watch for any game because I feel I just I feel like the way I play games is just not really like. Like, is, is, is this your guys' first instinct, too? It's like, a game starts, and I'm not going to, like, go play the game. Like, don't you just feel a need to be like, well, what's this? I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> Head of research. Head of research, Dr. Casper Darling. Zachar Zachar Zachariah Trench. I like that name, Zachariah Trench. <gasps> Can I shit? I, <laughs> what am I saying? Clear, obviously not. Why would I even say that? Can you imagine if you could just like <laughs> that'd be, that'd be, I've been looking for them and What a freak You guys are freaks You guys are fucking freaks What are you even saying Seek shelter A shark in hit. Whoa! Attention all redacted. Something a shark in his, although secure, permission to redacted following basic protocol. Shoot to kill. Good luck. What? A shark in his what? What does that mean? Seek shelter. That, I keep seeing that. That, that's scary. No, I don't want to hide. Is this a scary game? Why is why does everything end up being a scary game? I like creepy lore stuff, but I don't want to be scared. Oh, now we're talking, boys. A little light up a little sig with a little vino. Yum. The dude from the painting. Why am I scared of everything? It hey, excuse me. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm a janitor, by the way. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they, they, you have no 
relevant. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna. What the? I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. Ati the Ati the janitor. Oh, elevator. Take me up. The cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw Did he just read her mind? No, I think I said that out loud. Or maybe? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? What the? Intro credits. Zachariah Trench. I like this vibe. My problem is I love like these, like I was saying earlier, these kind of morbid explaining videos, but I feel like I've watched all the good ones and I want to find one to turn on while I work. And I just feel like all the good ones have been made and no one's making good ones anymore. I, I we've watched ones that I've already watched because I just I feel like I can't find any good YouTube channels anymore. Wendy Goon, I've watched all the Wendy Goon stuff, and I feel like all the recent stuff is 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 not as obscure anymore. Could I you there for a moment. You know what's on my mind, my baby brother, Dylan. Seventeen years since the men of this bureau took him. Huh? Multiple containment breaches detected. Multiple building shifts detected. Internal lockdown in effect. Head of Research Override. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. It does not sound good. Where is everybody? Multiple breaches? Trench, do not disturb. Barbara, I'm not to be disturbed. Cancel all my appointments for the day. For the rest of the week. I can't trust them, Barbara. Not a single one. Uh. Ah! Yeah, let's go. Why not? Shit. Holy moly. murder weapon really oh she has some sort of like she has some sort of prescience oh now we're talking glug 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 that that kind of tells her to do stuff What? Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one, ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. <laughs> They're like cursed objects or something. 
Oh, what the? Uh, we're in like the Yu-Gi-Oh pyramid puzzle. Oh. This reminds me of Destiny. Oh! No way. What is this? Are you kidding me? Oh! Eh. Give me the gun. Oh! The same gun. That's June? Cherry, you're a savage. Follow the board's instructions. Astral pl plane? Ah! Stay back! Wait. Wait, what? What? What is this perspective? My melee is stronger than the gun. What is this like? A why is the aim like? Why would it be over this shoulder? Oh, I pressed a button. That's why. It's my fault. just noise and I understood every word we have like ESP guns alive oh the gun is like an SCP I'm happy happy to be here things have quieted down outside is it safe to go oh oh, oh no no no, no, I can't. It's it's too much. It's too wait. I, you can go in here somehow. Wait, I'm like psychic. Look. What kind of what kind of person am I? Look at what I'm doing. Forget the gun. I'm psychic. Oh! What? what is that? No, it's scary. No, please. No, guys, it's scary. Oops. What's going on? You... Oh, thank you. That was... Horror. Huh? Get this fuck away! Hey!
It feels nice to play. I hope it's not too... I hope this game isn't too scary, though. There's like... I'm gonna have to backtrack a lot in this game, huh? It's scary, it's scary. It's kind of scary, guys. Do I level up? Says the dead man. E! Okay. Oh yeah? Get telekinesis. Oh, oh, what from where from where? It's kind of cool. Oh, what the? They're just hanging out. Uh, boys? Wait, that's for that's me. Follow these simple steps. One, search the room for any altered items or objects of power. Two, carry the altered. Every room has cigs and and drinks. Three, wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. If there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity, then reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and await further instructions. Oh, I am the director. That's right. The tr the pyramid made it so. You're right. Uh. What's this? Shelter. Oh, that shelter didn't do this guy any good. Open assets. I think I need to go this way. Central executive. Oh, that's cool. It's a little, it's a, sound that tried to invade me it's spookles in here. Into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. Oh, I love that. See, I don't like. I don't like being scared, but I like scary things. I like creepy stuff, and I like monsters, but I don't like being scared. Is that... Does that make sense? It's the pyramid, guys! It's a destiny expansion that's gonna cost way too much and it's gonna fucking suck. Look, right here. No, no. Oh, it's a thick boy, it's a thick boy.
What were you guys doing in here? Cleanse the control point. What does that mean? Sure. Help me fix it. Cleansing? Oh, control. Control. Control point? I see. Holy shit. <coughs> we did it. We did it. Oh. Are you with us? Who's talking to me? I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Pope? Yeah, I'm Pope. Emily Pope. And Dr. Dr. Oh, I thought it was the Pope. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh, shit. You're the new director. Wait. Hold on. What? We're coming out. Wait, so we touched the pi wait. They just they just all know? Wait, what? Director Faden. Call me Jesse. How do they know? Jesse. Wait, she's I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building. No, but we warning and just we literally heard the guy shoot himself the and then we picked up the, the gun the gun. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. The pyramid just made it so. I thought that was like metaphorical or something. Everyone not protected by an HRA. And we 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 were just visiting. We became the director like Three minutes ago. The director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. She's got like tracers. Trench is dead. Thing. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? No, we don't know we don't know that for sure. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. We don't know that for sure. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. <laughs> Finally a sane person. And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready I have to ESP. talk about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... She's got the uh, demon core on her chest. I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different Emily Pope I don't know her but I like her already she's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long but I can't trust her yet or rather the bureau she's a part of yes <coughs> I can try what what's that thing you got That's strapped to your chest course. ask her about we can it try it together you're not going to explain why okay. you got a bomb strapped to you? With me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. Cleanse his corrupted agent. Dude, she's doing yoga. We're like Doctor Strange. Oh. Oh. Guys, I don't know if you want me to. It didn't work. The hiss has burrowed too deep. I don't know if you want me doing that. It out. 
rips them apart. We just, we literally just killed someone. Pope. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, director. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I saw you just cheat, disintegrate that person. I'm like, ah, it didn't work. She's like, yeah, I saw you killed her. She was obliterated. Listen. The ah, it didn't work. <laughs> incident in my hometown, ordinary. 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? Do we trust this character it was one of the big ones and before my time and very classified i can try to dig out some old files for you my boss casper darling would know but he's missing i think he it has maybe it has something to do with the system. demon core strapped to her chest i don't know with the hras the hedron resonance amplifiers i think they're what saved us a few of us and Director Trench would know. Trench, the ghost or whatever he is, he mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone. Blake? A direct Blake light? communication what? between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? Do you guys think he shot himself? We literally hear him. We hear the gunshot across, like, through the door, like, ten minutes ago. We'll get the door open for you. Okay. That's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. Kind of reminds me of Portal. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. The hiss. I mean, you guys see that, right? And you can tell that's a phone. Like, that, that red phone you just saw. Like, none of us use phones like that anymore. Obviously, right? The door to the comms department is just outside. But you know what that is, right? They should have gotten it open. How long do you think, like, what, how many generations from now do you think until kids literally don't know what that even is? See you back here once you have the hotline. Thanks, Emily. Two? Already, probably. Like, anyone who, you think, like, people that are babies right now, by the time they're adults, do you think they will know? They won't know what that is anymore? We get like materials. What is this? Communications. Oh, that's way over there. There it 
is again a welcome message. Let me in. What is this? Oh. Oh. This doesn't look too good. It's very satisfying to get these materials, though. Dude, it looks like Destiny. Doesn't this look like Nessus? Also, these guys look like X-Men. Ah. This is me when you guys are roasting me, by the way. Wait, what the f- That is you guys. I, I died, but that was clearly where I, that's where it wanted me to go. No. See, do you see what happens to me? Items we pick up save. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, it's scary, it's scary. Get telekinesed, idiot. wanted the stuff wait i got it though right it's what happens when someone hits a soft spot no that's not what happens when you touch my soft spot something different happens i feel my telekinesis is way stronger than the gun oh come on so what i have to like i can't do that then It's me, but how did it? Huh? There it is again. A welcome message. What welcome message? It probably requires me to backtrack. Oh, they tried to barricade themselves. Why is it? What, what is this? Oh, they're, they like trapped themselves in there, probably. Kind of run like Tom Cruise, dude. I love Tom Cruise. Who's your guys' favorite actor? I think I would have said my favorite actor is Christian Bale. It probably is. 
But you know who kind of like... I feel I've been kind of like, you know what? He's always good in, in the movies I watch. Him. Is Jay Gyllenhaal. I watched Prisoners, and he was really good in that. He was good in Brokeback Mountain. It's hissing. It's hissing in my ear. I only know Michael Sarah. What do you mean? Like, that's the only... Ah! That's the only actor you know? Hissing. Purge it. And now we can, oh, and now we can fast travel. Wait. Oh. Keanu Reeves? I mean, we all love Keanu Reeves. I like Keanu Reeves. We all like him, but like as an as an actor though, is he like a good actor? And again, I love Keanu Reeves. We all love Keanu Reeves, but like is he a good actor? Cause he's kinda just like Yeah. That's what I thought. Huh. <laughs> I'm gonna have to kill you now. Yeah, you, you know, he's kind of like he's he's not like we, we were not all into him for his acting chops. I don't I don't think. Right? He's great in the Matrix. I actually think that I like him the most in in the Matrix. Out of anything. Mina, Bobina, Shwomina, Bofina. Yeah, I've always heard about this game. From from or, or rather, I always hear that this game is like really good from people that played it. I haven't really heard seen much of it otherwise um and i'm into like scp kind of stuff so thought i'd give it a little try what's well, on sale it's like 75 percent off right now it's like the one of steam's daily deals i 
Alan Wake. I don't know anything about Alan Wake. Is it similar? He's a, like a guy with a flashlight, right? That's like his thing. He's a guy with a flashlight. Uh-oh. Looks like I'm a little lost. I can't wait for the next choose your own adventure games. Like what's that one horror one where they're in the they're in the mountains with the with the um Wendigos? And then there's one where they're in the campsite. I feel that'd be very fun to play with you guys. I wasn't really streaming when those games were popular, but I always felt like that'd be a fun game to play on stream. Dark Picture Anthology. What is that? Oh, is Detroit Become Human that kind of game? Man, guys, where the heck am I supposed to go? Oh. We're on the right track. <laughs> where was I going? Dark Pictures is from the same devs as Until Dawn, but it's on PC. Hmm. Oh, wait, what was that? Interesting. I mean, you know, not the coffee! Anything but the coffee. You know me, I love any game with progression. Uh. It, did, did, did that kill him? He's dead. What killed you, buddy? Object of power. It's like the hiss of last on here. Oh my Uh, what am I supposed to do here? She's win. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Thanks for the uh, tier one sub. Welcome back. Thanks for the four months. Think we go up here. Oh, it's a thing. What is this? Object of power? It's a floppy disk. She's in. Thanks for the stream. No problem. The floppy disk nuke to gain launch telekinesis. It's harder to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's what? been changed. The boards in charge here. They're pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. 
Oh. Now I have the power. Oh my gosh. Puzzles. Puzzles. Oh my. Why why would I ever use the gun? The gun kind of sucks. Like look how It's not Yeah, why would I ever use the gun here? Or I guess there's not always something to throw, huh? Take this box. Yeah, that's right. Oh my god, I got the rubble. Who wants some rubble? Oh my gosh. Wait, this game is kind of cool. Hey, what the? Oh my gosh. Wait, this game's pretty cool. Could it be? Having a fun playing a video game? Oh, I... said that the hotline can be reached through the mail. It's it's weird they make you feel so strong so early in the game. Uh the DLCs, I got them. They were included. There's a sale on Steam right now. Uh, the, this game, the DLC is for ten dollars, so we'll see. I mean, I, I'm, I'm so early into the game. Who knows when I'll actually beat it? But yeah, I mean, it was weird. I feel like when this game was out, like I just saw nothing, no gameplay, no one was streaming it. Never saw any videos about it on YouTube. And then Game Awards came and it was just like it won everything. And then flash forward a little bit. I'm playing it now and everyone's like, yeah, that, this game's really good. I really enjoyed it. It, it just feel like we skipped a few steps. You know what I mean? a key nearby oh there is a key oh buddy this must open the door oh my god it looks like i made him give me sloppy toppy oh that guy oh, oh he's floating he's floating 
Oh yeah? Yeah, guess what? I can I can telekinesis your ass. <laughs> oh, I'm weak, I'm weak! Give me your health. Give me your health. No! No, I'm weak! Ah! Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? No, 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 no. No! I got body blocked. Or no, I didn't get body blocked. I just got blocked by the pillar. Oh, I should have changed. I see where the, the tilting could be. Useful. Oh, I see. What? Oh, no way. Oh, it's not that bad. Oh, the control point was right here. All right, let's try this again. No, he dodges me. Stop dodging me. keeps dodging me. Ouch, 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 ouch. No! Maybe I'm not as strong as I thought I was. At least I can teleport to that thing. I don't know how to hit him. I don't think you can hit him with a telly. Yeah, I'm not sure. I felt like I hit him a couple times with stuff. But there must be something that triggers him being vulnerable to being hit. Do I have to stun him first? It's a timing thing. Hmm. Oh, uh, my lord. Are you kidding? I feel like I, I almost killed him the first time. The first time I fought him. How did I do that? How did I do so much damage to him? I feel like he's getting harder. What did I do?
Oh, I see. You just spam him. Oh, great. He does so much damage with his things. I gotta play it slow. And, and just spam stuff at him. That was like all my fucking health. It was like all my health. Amazing. Amazing. Can I take this in with me? Oh, I can. I can cheese it. I get one extra ammunition. No. Are you fucking kidding me? So close. Hmm. I need to be careful on the energy I'm expending. He does so much damage. Oh, I did it. I think. No, he's phase two. No. Damn, that was tough. Focused. The hotline should In the end, I it. shot him with my gun, and that's what did it. I was giving the gun so much crap, but maybe I could just shoot. Oh, okay, we did it. What the... The 
hotline object of power. You're listening to America Overnight, mystifying the airwaves for more than 29 years. There's no one in here. But everything's all moved around like someone was. Should we teleport? We fought the floaty dude here. Oh. Ah. All right, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. Alberto Tomasi, head of comms. At the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by the sonic got weaponry him. in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel... Oh, that was him. ...to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged our cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise guns. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, with the odds and all that item to show up inside a U.S. embassy. Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Hey, are you still recording this? Hotline can't be far now. So we get stronger, huh? Hotline chamber. Oh, hotline. a lot of roadside motels across the country on the road on the run under the radar. this reminds me of more tree assistant this feels like all of them like something recognized from a dream these are some nice vibes Oh, I could really go for some coffee. Ooh. 
aqui. Am I stupid? Huh? I don't understand. Oh. Wait. What the heck? A hotline seashell. Huh? What does the phone do? Oh! Allow you to contact extra dimensional entities. Oh, uh, 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 uh. We fell. I almost just fell again. Okay, so it's not like a weapon or anything. It's just kind of what makes us aware of them or what's the, what's the gist of it? I don't really. I don't like that thing. <laughs> Me either. Reminds me of Bochi the Rock. It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. Okay. It's got a bottle cap. Or a dial. A director needs a team. My management team. These people know the Manager secrets son. of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. So edgy. <laughs> okay. I have it. The hotline. I can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo. An echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. People react strongly when I tell them about you. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. I mean, look at... Oh, oh. I mean, look at this. What's happening? But she's referring to, like, her... Ability to like, she has like omnipotence, kind of prescience in a way, prescience. Surely, this is not, not like the craziest thing to be happening. Boardroom. Jesse, did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms? The hiss? 
I just had to fight some some floating dude and incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team, people who knew the bureau secrets. Your boss, Darling, Tomasi, but he's gone. He has gone. Salvador, he's the head of security. And Marshall, Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a direct. What is that thing on her chest? Visit, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Look, her shirt's all cut up. Normally, is it? The sector or is that just the style? It connects all the sectors. Look at look at our shirts. Work while the lockdown is in effect. Is that for the thing on her chest? Already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find the way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. If you agree. No, stay away from me, you furry. We could find out something that would help us. Tests. I don't know. She might find out about you. Oh, I mean, if, if the game explains it, but then, I wouldn't mind then I'll just I'll just find out. Myself. Okay, if you think it will help, great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. Scary. And then you beat the game and it zooms out of the building and it says lethal company. Oh, 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 oh. the twist. Wait, what is this? What's going on? It's Audie. Janitor, incredibly sus. Incredibly sus. Oh. I want more energy. Are they communicating? Astral con. I don't have enough brain power. Okay, okay, everyone. You know what I'm about to say. You know what I'm about to say. That was fun. It's been a while since I just sat down and played a game. That was actually pretty. Uh, that's pretty fun. But it's about time. It's about time. Already? Yeah. I'm hungry. I guess I could just. Well, I'm still a little jet lagged. I'm feeling really sleepy right now, even though I was awake. Um, I've only I've been awake for not that long today. What time is it? Eight hours. I've only been awake for eight hours, but I think I'm still jet lagged. So I'm gonna eat and try to stay awake till for until like midnight. Wendy's time? No, no, no. Well, I'm not. It's not that much better, but at least it'll save me some money. I'm just gonna have spam with a 
dollar pack of ramen. The good old, good old. Maybe throw an egg in there. Well, I ate before stream, so I don't think it's like sugar levels or anything. I think I'm just still jet lagged. Really trying to fight it. So I'm going to try to stay up as long as I can right now. Coast by. And uh, stay up. Pop to NyQuil. Bum, bum. Try to sleep through the night and try to reset my internal clock. Cause I still I still feel like it's out of whack. Running on fumes, it does kind of have that feeling to it still. Still not right. Still not right. Almost though. Hey, uh, uh, revenge. Thank you for the prime sub. Uh, welcome back. Thanks for three months. Purple Lion, hello. That was a fun game. That guy was clapping me. He was absolutely clapping me. The Exit 8. I kind of wish that was a longer game. Because that was... um, That was pretty good. Maybe we'll play it again. To, uh, maybe not tomorrow. Or the next time I stream. Because there's other encounters, right? Or like... What did it say? At the very end it said that there's 20 uh, things that I, I have yet to encounter. So... Maybe we'll play that. Try to f get all of them. Maybe not all of them, but... Wait, control. There's an achievement. Obtain the service weapon, which is the gun. 91.2% of players. So, 8.8% .8 of players didn't even get the gun. That's the beginning of the fucking game. What do you mean 91.2% of players got the gun? That's That's... That's crazy. I mean, to be fair, there's a lot of games that I have on my Steam list that I've never even downloaded, like Tales of uh, Vesperia. Um, what else? What if I never booted up, but I have Tales of Vesperia? Definitely. Sleeping dogs, definitely. I think that's it. Oh no, there's way more. Vesperia, an RP JRPG. Plans for tomorrow? How many do you have backlogged? Oh, I mean, a lot. Also, there's a lot of games that I'll buy for stream, and I'll, I'll play it once or twice on stream, and then I'll never pick up again. It's hard to do... I mean, even Control, I don't know if I'll ever stream that again. I think I'll play it on my off time uh that, that's not true maybe i'll play maybe i'll play through it but for streaming it kind of sucks and I, I feel like all streamers are kind of agree on this even viewers like games that continue like a story-based game it's kind of um not the best streaming experience because you hop in you're like ah, i don't know what's going on eh. it, it's, it's really good for like just personal enjoyment but uh, and if you do stream stuff like that, you got to like get through it really quick. Like you do, you stream like, like control for instance, like a story based game. I feel the only way to really do it is if you stream like three days in a row, six hours, and you just kind of beat it and get it done. But someone like me who doesn't really stream like that, we will be playing control for like two weeks straight. Maybe another time, but for tomorrow, manana, uh, I'll don't think I'll be streaming tomorrow, Wednesday. No, not tomorrow, probably. Oh my gosh. Why is my chest so white? I need to get some sun. Well, I can't get some sun. I can't go out there with my shirt off and my pants off. Playing tennis really does tan my head and my arms. So smooth. Don't flashbang. It's not that bright. Yeah, I'm pretty pale underneath it all.
Let's see, let's see. Care for warmth? I feel like chest hair doesn't keep you warm. I feel like beard too. Does your beard really even warm you up? I Even your hair. Well, I guess your hair. I feel for it to be significant, you would need your, like literally as thick as your hair all over your body. But even then, like if I was out there in the snow, I'd still die. It's nowhere near enough to keep me warm. Also, it's not the... I feel like it's not the right kind of hair. Why do we even have hair? Because it doesn't really keep us warm. What is the usage of our hair? How come we haven't evolved to have no hair? Because we evolved to be ha way more, like, hairless on the rest of our body because we don't need it. Why haven't we evolved out of our hair? On our heads? Huh? Why is that? It's to protect my soft spot, is why. To conceal it. Bald stream soon? No. Maybe hair is useful if you never cut or wash it? What? Why would that be the case? What are you trying to say? Guys, I think uh, scrolling TikTok literally makes me stupider. I think there's some good content on TikTok. I like the food TikToks. And sometimes there's informative TikToks. But generally speaking, I feel like it makes me dumber. Yeah, an attention span. I really do think I become more, like, less patient in general because of TikTok. Just short form. Short form content in general, right, is pretty bad for you. I quite literally can't watch any TikTok that I don't put on. The TikToks, Kirby? Wait, you can't even watch the short form content on two times speed? You need it to be- Oh, Kirby, you gotta delete that app, Kirby. You gotta get back. You gotta get your brain back. That ain't good. I was on TikTok and I was scrolling and Carol was like, stop, you're scrolling too fast. And I was like, what? I'm just moving on to the next TikTok. I'm like, and she said, you're not even letting your brain, your iPad baby brain is, you need to like give yourself, oh no, I am an iPad baby. I need to stop. I need to stop. It's addictive too. Brain rot? What is brain rot? I mean, generally I could just stuff that's, that's like not good for you, like toxic? What do you mean brain rot? Or is it referring to something specifically? If that law passes, you'll stop soon. Hey, I'm not gonna lie. Cause we still have, it's not like social media is being banned. We still have YouTube, right? And stuff. I think TikTok should be banned. I don't think it, get, all it does is just like, what is it? What positive force is TikTok? Cause there is, there is YouTube. People made content that is like instructive or, or commentary or like tick honestly TikTok made it too accessible for people to create content and for people to consume other people's content. I mean I know YouTube is still easy. You're like all you need to do is make the video, but TikTok, even Blake, Blake said like, oh, I, he said he deleted the app off his phone because it he said it made him like uh, it was bad for him. I, I forget his wording exactly, but it makes him stupid. A lot of small businesses are on TikTok. I think the cons outweigh the pros still. I think I think it's I think it's overall still a negative, and I'm sorry to the small businesses, but overall I think we'll just we'll take the hit as a society. I'm sorry, small businesses. 
I do know what you're talking about, but I think the negatives outweigh. Like a sexy dancing on his TikTok? Yeah, he would. It's tailored to your algorithm. Hey, I'll tell you, my algorithm is good. It's clean. Because I can scroll TikTok with Carol. We watch it together, even, sometimes. Carol can be next to me and I can scroll TikTok. That's how you know I'm clean. Blake is a dirty boy. He's a dirty boy. He's watching those dancing, sexy dancing TikToks. Also, I can't, I can't even stand, I can't stand the, I honestly cannot stand the dancing TikToks. Control, I got through like the first chapter, I think. See, that's, here's the thing. What's worse for your for like the children of America? Is it so bad that they stumble on a Professor Lando video? There's literally softcore pornography on TikTok. I've seen it. I've seen it. And I scroll past it really quick because I don't want my algorithm to learn to make to think that that's what I want. But I've I mean there's just just like straight up there is straight up, not even softcore, but it there's straight up porn on TikTok. And they they trick the system. Yeah, my sh my shorts on TikTok get like copyright striked or not copyright strike, but like guideline violation for being too adult. But I've literally seen straight up porn on TikTok. They like trick the system. They 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 edit it in a way and they filter it and, and they're like linking this stuff. Disgusting. Where? <laughs> No, no, my algorithm's clean. I get a lot of movie clips on TikTok. And food. And podcasts. I guess the most egregious thing is I'll be I'll, I'll be honest. I, I, my TikTok right now is kind of caught in like a red pill podcast cycle, which I'm not the biggest fan of. But you, like one clip I watch and the, it's just filled with that. I'm caught in this like just like this dude usually they're white guy and no a hundred percent of the times they're a white guy and they're like did you know that like blah 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 blah, blah. and, and it, it's just not exactly i don't know how to, how to describe it it's not like jordan peterson ben shapiro red pill but it's like alpha male there's just like a thousand clips of like some white dude being an asshole and it's like a it's like a tiktok clip right and they're just like well i fuck girls and like don't you think you should fuck girls too and I, you know i'm just like i'm making a living like fucking girls right and it, and if i i get spammed by those podcast clips and what's infuriating is that when you go and look these podcasts make more money than i've ever made my entire life It, what what what's worse about the the worst thing about them is that it it works. They make more in a single month than I've made in my entire life. No, I don't watch it, but I'm just it, it, it's just how the cookie crumbles. Sometimes you just ca get caught in like this algorithm spiral. Okay, I'm gonna my I'm having some ramen with some spam. That's gonna be my dinner. We're saving money. We're not gonna Uber Eats a Wendy's baked potato, even though uh even though that's oh even though that sounds so good. Even though that sounds so good right now. I'm gonna have some ramen spam. Solid. Solid. We're gonna save some money. Uh my stomach won't hurt because I know that's a tried and true recipe. Uh, yeah, 
I don't know when I'm gonna stream next. For sure, Saturday we're doing. Uh, we're heading back to the classroom for the first time since I took my vacation. Little breaks, breakster. Uh, before that, I know Blake. Blake said he would try to stream. What did he say? He said he was gonna try to stream Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I don't know if I'll stream anytime between now and Saturday. I probably will. You guys know me. I'm always like, I'm not going to stream. And then I'll be like, hey, guys, we're going to. And then you guys are like, yeah, yeah. And then I do it. And then I'm like, why the fuck did I go live today? I don't know. Uh, Ko Nishimoto, these are the raid. I think I'm ending stream right now, though. Is that how we sound like to you? You guys know, you guys know. Any of you. Is that it? Is that where we're ending? I think so. I think so. It's been a fun run. Ooh. Oh man, I wish there was more time in the day. You lost your morning streak, didn't you? I woke up at like 10.30 today, but tomorrow, I don't know. Uh, I need a stricter schedule, guys. I need to, okay, let, let's, let's work it out. Let's work out tomorrow's day for me, for example. Okay, so for example, tomorrow. Okay. Why do I feel out that? What do you mean? It's so it can I can make it as symmetrical as possible. Okay, sleep, sleep. Uh, seven hours. Okay. Oh wait, this is not gonna work because there's twenty four hours in a day. It, it, does anyone? Okay, but you guys know me. Does does it? Does anyone? Visualize time and scheduling better by looking at a circular clock. Sometimes, like, when someone say, like, oh, it's at this time. Like, for some reason, I want to see the clock. Like, the round. Is that, like, a dumb baby thing to do? No. Okay. This is my day. This is my day. Okay. Okay. 12, this is 24 hours. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, and then 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. It's 12, why do I start with 12? 12 a.m. Oh, or, or, or wait, hold on. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I, I get what you're saying. It's technically zero. How do I set it to fill? Okay, okay. So, seven hours of sleep. Oh, man. 
No, I gotta do eight. I gotta do eight. Okay. Damn! That's so much... F that's so much freaking time gone in the day. Okay. Uh, downtime. One hour, right? Boom. Eight to nine. Okay. Gone. That's like to boot up. Wake up, use the bathroom, get a coffee. Maybe a little breakfast. Like a small breakfast. Okay, what do I know? What do I know? Uh, lunchtime. Uh, for me, it's like one. One to two. And then dinner. Dinner is kind of weird for me because it depends if I stream. But generally, let's say I have dinner at six. So what is six? 18, 18 to 19. And then let's say I stream on that day on what? See that this is why chat for me. <sighs> That's why I stream at night. It's because of honestly streaming at like 7 p.m. Pacific is not that good for me uh, streaming wise. But it's good for me like life balance wise because I think I think it would usually be better for me to stream earlier. But if I stream at 7, then it, I can kind of close out my day. You know what I mean? Like. Oops. One, two, three. Let's do. I mean, it. It. We're we're three and a half hours now. I think generally, I think I stream for four hours. And then I have like downtime from eleven to eleven till sleep. Okay, health, health. Uh. What? Eat lunch, let it sit for an hour, and then what is 15? 3 p.m. to 4? Oh, but I need like two hours. Oh, God. Can I really get a workout in one hour? That's tough. Zero and 24 are duplicates? Wait. No, no, no. It's like 23 to 24. Hour 30. I mean, I need an hour 30 just because you you need to like prep. You warm and you shower. Oh, God. This doesn't. And then what? After that, I have... To nine nine from nine till one I can work. Oh my god. Thirteen to fifteen. There's a two hour chunk here. Maybe that's maybe that's music. for two hours and then oh my well I've left no time for anything that's not work sleep like there's no personal time here well maybe this is just personal time 
the two hours between lunch and working out. That's like a good place to put it. And then I work from, uh, th what is this? This would be like 4.30 to 8. So that would be like three and a half hours of work. Okay, so then every day, let's see how much I'm working. So 9, 9 to 1, 10, 11, 12, 1. It's four hours. This is 3.5. And this is 4. Oh no. I shouldn't I shouldn't be working. Look how much I work, guys. I work 11.5 hours a day. Oh god, that's not that's not right. Times seven? No. I take weekends off. So times five? Holy shit. There's no way I should be working a 57 hour. No, no, no. Let I got to keep it to 40, right? So if I want to keep it to 40. Uh, no, but the, uh, maybe I just maybe I just need to work more. Than, a per than an average person does. Maybe that's what it takes to be a content creator. Who knows? Well, let's say it's 40. So, uh, what is that? Eight? I need to... Eight. Eight. Eight hours a day. So, this part right here, I shouldn't work. I should do something else right here. What can I do right there, though? My personal time? My personal time is just working, though. Aaron's chores? Nap time? Oh, that would actually be goaded. No, I can't be doing that, though. <sighs> I think I should just veg out. He's going to be on TikTok. No, no. Corn time. <laughs> There's no way I can be doing a 50 hour work week. There's actually no way. I will say the work is less stressful than a normal 9 to 5, right? Because I'm a YouTuber, a streamer. So, like, let's say a normal threshold for an average person doing normal work is like 40 hours. I, I, I would like to say that it's maybe the threshold, it could be a little higher because you're doing like not as mentally, ta well, not, that's not true. Not as soul sucking work. I think it's mentally taxing, maybe even more mentally taxing, but like in terms of soul crushing, it's not the same as a nine to five. So maybe I can do like 50 hours as opposed to 40, maybe in a week. If 40 is like your normal. Yeah, I don't have to commute. That's the thing. I don't have to deal with the normal stressors of a nine to five. So like maybe I can afford to work more on average. Guys, this life thing is just fucked i don't know man this shit's like when you put it down on paper it's just like oh maybe i should just en like enjoy time with my loved ones and, and the experiences of life before it's all gone because the time's ticking away when you put it on the paper like that
Meh. What am I, gay? Pfft, I don't need that shit. Cruelty of life, yes, sir. Bobert and Pickles, I don't need to give them time because they're. I'm just naturally, like, spending time with them throughout the day because they're just always there. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go eat and I'm going to do a more, more formal scheduling of my day. What's like a good planner for that? I was just going to use plot out my day in Google Calendar. Does anybody? There's no way any of you guys map out your day like that, right? Like that. Critically. I mean, I I have uh I have this planner. Uh but It's, it's, I kind of need a different thing for that kind of, because the, in the day I'm kind of writing notes and taking notes and stuff. So it, it's not like a strict time blocking thing. Like, I guess I could, but it's, it's more free form thought, like coming out of on, on, onto the paper, you know? So it's, it's not really like, it would take up way too much of a, uh, space to do that I think it's weird I feel like I need I almost want like a little widget that's on the side that takes up a skinny like Ideally, I want like a widget that takes up a skinny sliver and it's it's like a Google this this actually sounds like a product or something a tiny widget a skinny widget and it's like the Google Calendar day and it's scrolling through at all times and I you can scroll through it that sounds really nice because I feel like I almost want to see it omnipresent in, like while I work on stuff Structured. Structured. Daily planner. Man, this is... See, because when... Because usually I'm like, oh, my life is so fun. I'm like a... I'm like an artist and I stream, but when, when I look at planning it out, suddenly it gets depressing. Some, suddenly it's like, oh, when, when I'm like, when I'm like mandated eating time, 1 p.m., it suddenly gets depressing. Probably no stream tomorrow, guys. Who needs a plan? I just I just do vibes, guys. True. All right, we'll see where the vibes take us tomorrow. Uh, probably no stream tomorrow, unless I decide to. You guys know me, but probably not. I think Blink will be back, though. Okay, dokie, everyone. Thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, that was a fun stream. That was a, that was a that was a mix of stuff, wasn't it? What an interesting one. Do you remember Jeff Bezos did an interview and said he doesn't start his workday until 12 p. 
p.m. Like he would spend his mornings with his family and he doesn't start. I feel that's why I feel like remember earlier when I said people cheat, like I feel people cheat. Like if 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 it was marked by like having to do your own work, there's not enough time. You need like some cheat code. You need people to be giving you stuff, some sort of handout or some sort of process that is like gives you a leg up. There's no way. It's called profiting other people. Dude, I need underlings. I need underlings. Make me my lunch so I can work. That's the thing. You need to like free up your time so that you can do work. Well, I guess you could take free time, but ideally I would like it's so fucked because I will I want to have work done so that I can work. <laughs> It's like, ah, oh, if only I could have some of my work done without me doing it so that I can work on other things. Yeah, maybe I will have like, next stream, I'll have like a, like a Dobby the Elf. Like right there, doing stuff for me. I need underlings. All right, we'll, we'll get we'll get working on having some underlings. Hmm. Okay, I'm getting off for real now. Have a good night, guys. I'm gonna go have my dinner. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. <laughs> bye bye.